Good afternoon, all. It's 5.39 p.m. on uh, Wednesday, the 11th of January, 2023. Welcome. As always, our schedule is posted here. And you could see if, you, if you're checking on, hey, once the next webinar, it's there. Occasionally, we might be off, but very low. Obviously, for example, today I moved it to 5.30, forgot to update this, but it was on Twitter and was email was sent out. Once you're registered, every time we change, or as an upcoming webinar, go to meeting, or go to webinar, I'm sorry, automatically updates you. We're still expecting it January 24th on Tuesday at uh, Psychology of Day Trading with the great uh, Marshall Freed. Uh, he, he had a December uh, schedule with us, but many, many uh, personal issues. He runs a very large real estate portfolio, just couldn't do it. So we, 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 we're clear for, as of, as, as of this moment I speak, for uh, January 24th. Um, very quickly, I moved and uh, getting all the services back online and at full speed. I've traded very little, only machine hands. My my big machine is down, the i9 is down, I had a bad fan. Uh, it turns out when I went to, I, I don't know if you guys do this or not, I suggest you do. Uh, once a year, I take my machines out, take it to a, a, a mechanic shop, in this case was it my, car dealer and use the air hose to clear the inside. Got all the dust and the filters and so forth, wash the filters uh, and then put them back together. As I was doing that, my main machine, the i9, which is a super duper items extreme uh, machine, I think it's ASOS motherboard, clocked up. I use I get them from a place called CUK, uh, Computer um, uh, Upgrade King, CUK, I think USA is their uh, uh, location. I think that's what it is, USA, so, yeah, this is, yeah. yeah. This, these guys make a lot of stuff for uh, 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 gamers. You can take some of these and do what we do with trading and beats uh, paying the stupid price of Falcon. And they're far more stable, the longer, uh, uh, also uh, um, uh, warranty. I have no involvement with them other than I'm a very happy customer. We bought everything from them last few years. Also, some clients have bought it. Admiral Esposito did. My brother did. Applying in different uh, uh, businesses, but they're good. Hey, i9 is over there. Uh, they should be back uh, this week. It, the fan was a problem, but fan was too close to a radiator. It's a water cooled system. Uh, or not water, it was oil top. Cool. And I just wasn't willing to touch it. And my cost was just insure it and ship it up. Uh, the warranty takes care of the replacement and let them test everything else and come back. That's what we're going to do. So I'll be back on uh, regular trading for the hedge fund uh, starting uh, Monday, I think. Uh, these other machines are too busy. We have other tasks going on. The up, up, our upload speed is 200. I love it. That's what the uh, fiber optics uh, promise is for. Uh, promise of it is for. And uh, we still have it. Same download speed we had at Remington. But about one gig, but the upload is five times. With three video channels, it's important to have an upload speed. And of course, when we're done here, we'll upload this file too. You could see it kicks ass. It's huge. Uh, it's all fiber optics. So I, I actually feel my dome is fuller, okay? Because you're not bouncing up and down against each other. You could see the results was fantastic. Okay, that's done. Um, office is set up. We had that set up early. We didn't have everything in, but now we're good and moving forward. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the next item of interest. This is not 4.85 anymore. It's 4.87. We had to take it down. It was a stand down order that I had to issue across the board. Members here in the chat room. I mean, those who trade on their own in the chat room or the two system houses in Chicago because we had to go to 4.86. 4.8 had problems, we went to 5, we actually broke it. Truth to be told, we broke it. Uh, I have two programmers who uh, they got a little bit busy, they didn't exactly coordinate. So I had to bring Admiral Tico in. He read them the Rights Act, and uh, they got 4.86 up this weekend. That looked good. We have traded for three days now, including today, Wednesday, that doesn't trade, but we uh, changed the variable, and it actually made 200 bucks on a $1,200 uh, investment. So return wasn't too bad. Um, a 
us down. That's 17%. Now, uh, the, so that was 8.6. 8.7 is a couple of small fixes we had that even though it didn't trigger as an error, but we saw it coming yesterday and we stopped it. We have a, a, a machine here that the developers work on remotely so I can see and they can see live and that was a trigger. So we so 4.87 went out. I don't know if we have an update on it or not, we will. The user guide is also coming. I have a copy I need to look at. And then uh, uh, then uh, we're good. All folks have been permitted to trade, both MNQ and NQ. Uh, both, again, uh, in the chat room, obviously, we're running this, but also on their own, and uh, also at the two system houses in Chicago. Our problem is very simple. Uh, in a capital form, we're a victim of our own success. Too many people are trading it. And you have to change your uh, your uh, uh, disbursement of orders. It's like you get more smarter. This guy who came in to help me as a second assistant programmer has worked with the first one at TradeCision for about seven, eight years. Uh, one of the machines he runs for a hedge fund trades per order, 2,000 ES contracts. You do the math at, at 50 bucks times, that's, that means you gotta have 800,000 in your account. Uh, and uh, uh, 50 bucks, I don't know what the margins are, I assume. At 50 bucks, each dollar move is uh, 100,000. Each dollar, every four ticks is 100,000. Every tick is 25,000. Uh, let me let me check that. I just I got sidetracked here, hold on. It's good to know, look at the futures margins. I know they lowered it. The day trade is once, yeah, it's a lot lower now. So, uh, so during the day, you need about 22,000. No, 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 11.6, hold on, no, 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 11.66 times 2,000. It needs $2 million on the table. Yeah, yeah. 2.3 million for the system that he's trade, that he written code for. NQ is not that cheap yet. Oh, that brought down too. Not bad. They dropped it 10%. Holy macro. And then what's the name in Q4 34? That hasn't changed. It didn't change that story. Wow. Okay. Bottom line is uh, remember, this is not going to stay at 10% and 10%. There's a little bit of competition and also uh, we're in a reasonable, reasonable volatility regime. Yeah, don't count on that to be always be there. And often you've seen, like ahead of Fed, they jack it up to full margin. So be careful. Make sure you follow instructions from your broker. So that's the latest. We're very excited to be back on board. I've talked to the two system houses today, and the clients are happy. They were kind of anxious why we're not trading. Listen, I'm a Navy guy. If you have second aircraft crash, you, you stand down until you find out what's wrong. First one could be an accident. Second one's not an accident anymore. Something else is wrong. So there was a code issue. We have to find it. The code now the, the, is at 23.84. 2,384 lines between the authentication indicator and the strategy. So it's like, uh, let me tell, give it to you in the Roman terms, okay? It's like uh, finding a needle, not in a haystack, but actually in a bowl of a spaghetti with the sauce and the pasta. That's in Roman terms, okay? Uh, hey, David, how are you? Welcome, sir. So uh, it, it's just, It'd be challenging, but uh, you know me, I, I never ever give up. So that's my, how my dad raised me. So, with that said, that's the end of housekeeping. Let's get to econ calendar, then we get to charts. Uh, now, I have not updated where we are. Give me a second. Let me update that too on where we are on our system for uh, which tracks uh, our work. So, let me go there before I. I should, should, have, should have done that. Uh, I need to know what the SPX is here. One second. Oh, is it still doing a, is it still doing the test or doing something? Hold on one second. Bear with me. Remember, we're not a marketing organization. We don't do things where everything is hunky dory. We we do what we what needs to be done uh, uh, sec uh, what do you call it? Uh, transactionally. And some people don't like it, that's tough. Yeah, I, I don't care about that. We're gonna keep on doing the way we do things. Why? It'll work for us. So, 
This is done. Okay, that was the back. It was doing a back off. Let me look at SPX. I need a number to extract me. SPX. We were up 50 handles. Hold on. Hold on second. Okay. It hit 37.90. Okay. We closed at 61. Okay, hold on. So let me let me update that so the chart is correct. Hold on. Because we're going to be using that chart anyway. So. Um, Okay, so that's 123.9. Oh, that's our differential. One, 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 uh, one, point nine. That's our differential against buy and hold the strategy on SPX. You've got, I was through the Burton Archeo. You've got to understand that your construct or index and you have to measure your performance against that. You know, if, you, if the market is up 10%, and you were up 12, you didn't do much. Trust me, you didn't. So uh, we're about, uh, let's see, 112 over, how many years is this? Uh, 11, 14, uh, let's say 15, 13 is, uh, it's eight years now? Eight years, yeah, 15 to 22, yeah, eight years. We're up 112, 113% divided by uh, eight years. We're up 14% a year, every year. Try try go to Morningstar and find somebody like that. Yeah. So, and this is before we put derivative trade on it. This is just cash on cash. Yeah, yes, cash on cash. You put a booster on it, like a call option or put option, changes the ball game dramatically. Okay, let me grab this. Obviously, cash on cash for the uh, time of the decade. That's not, that doesn't stop us. But uh, I wish Trace uh, uh, Digest would be back to doing the ranking. I still don't see any ranking from them. They do accept our emails, and they uh, do uh, tell us, hey, you did this, you did that. There you go. But I don't know what my ranking is. All I know is that I'm doing what I do always, which is uh, be aggressive and... Uh, the tight stop. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I get out and regroup and then attack again. Okay, we'll have to now upload that and then we're good to go. Sorry, guys. I gotta get this thing done. We'll come back and we'll do uh, the calendar. Let me just post this. Okay, let's go. We're good. All right, that's uh, Amazon. All right, so back to here. That's by the way. That's how sausage is made. You can see what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. Wednesday. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Uh, we had no big report today other than EIA. Paul obviously spoke yesterday and spooked the market a little bit. Um, the big one obviously was also uh, on Monday. Let me see if I had this right. Yeah. Monday was really the bad day because we opened up. As you know, I, on uh, Admiral Tico came in and said on Twitter, I see 4,000 from my house. No bucket truck needed. No. Why? 200 day coming down, and that's two sigma. This red line is two sigma. And indices have a, ch a chance always to go to two sigma. So in, we're striking distance. Uh, a 200 day is what? Uh, that's, that's, no, 3987. So we'll see where we go. We're about, uh, 17 uh, handles away. So we could get, get some resistance. How it behaves at that 200 bar is crucial. A lot of you are watching it. Absolutely. Not, that's no magic. You all know that. Uh, yeah, I'm good at stating the obvious. Right, right. Exactly. So, all right. Uh, the number for an NFP came good in line. Uh, uh, tomorrow we have CPI. That's a big number tomorrow, huge number. As a little bit below consensus as uh, Nancy wrote in her option trade today. And uh, we, we we went in after JPM. JPM reports it as a first salvo in the earnings season on Friday. Okay. And 6.6 six is a consensus. Prior was 7.1. And this is the range. 
Uh, I think we're going to be a little bit below this, but not much. J just, just my own feel. I'm no, I'm not an economist or not an econometrics background, but that's what I'm expecting to be slightly beat by a slight amount. And uh, with and if they and the, during interest fees, high interest fees, uh, or above above normal interest rate, uh, banks should go well, do well. So Friday morning could be a very nice setup. Uh, whether they sell it or not, I don't know. But uh, we should be taking 4000 out between tomorrow and uh, Friday. Okay. Um, obviously, I would want to see what this number is. X put an energy as an X bond trader. This is a key number you want to look at. Uh, th th this is headline. This is for common people out there. But we're going to be looking at month to month on uh, X put an energy and then the, the uh, headline. Okay. Let's see what else we have coming. Uh, jobless claims. This number has not popped yet. It's it's kind of interesting. I would see you would think with all the layoffs that you hear from, the, especially big tech, this number gets bigger. But no, still consensus two fifteen. Ah, uh, so we shall see. Even the higher end of the range is two twenty five. Wondering what happened to the layoffs. Where these guys go? So, uh, import prices on Friday is a green report. Not that serious. Uh, well, we're speaking tomorrow. This is the guy you're gonna watch. Is one of the key doves out there. He and the, uh, Charlie, what's his name? The guy at the Chicago Fed, Charlie Evans. This, this, and Charlie Evans is from San. He's from uh, San Luis. These two are the main doves on the Federal Reserve Board. So take a look, listen to what these guys say. Eleven thirty, probably will move the market. Uh. Import export prices. Uh, I'm sorry, I meant to click on the other one. Uh, we're going to be a little bit lower than expect. Okay. On the imports and a little bit lower also on uh, exports. I understand. Okay. We'll watch. We'll see. It's a green report. Uh, to me, more important is the consumer sentiment. Let's see what that's uh, coming in. Come on. Okay. Uh, this is your Michigan. And uh, 60.59 in line, I see. Okay. So possibly, possibly slightly higher or slightly lower. So kind of a, a mute right now. We'll see. Okay. The following week we have, uh, it's the third week, we'll have expiration. And then following after that is you have the GDP and uh, durable goods. That's how the month uh, works out. I don't care about Baker Hughes. Uh, we're somewhere in there. But we do have a, the EIA report should show a glut there, and prices should drop. We have a, we have a, too much oil out there in the in the pipelines and in storage. Price should drop. Now I think it went up actually a little bit. So it was a contrarian move. Um, I did not look at the EIA. I just that I had heard the, the number. Hold on. I've been on the road a little bit trying to finish a couple of stuff outside here. Yeah, you see that. Uh, Wow. Wow. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Yeah, there's a glut out there. Prices should come down. All right. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Part of it is not that we're producing more. No. By tomorrow, by next year, we will be at all time high in production. But no, it's, it's part, of, part of it is the usage. Yeah. It's usage has dropped. Okay. So uh, remember, remember, uh, uh, it was April of 2020. That kid who uh, bought it at two cents and he went to negative 42. You had to pay people to store it for you. Yeah, that was the. Then he committed suicide. How would you allow a kid to trade futures? How did he get in? Who approved them? I think he piggybacked on his uncle's uh, 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 long yet. All right, so let's let's get this thing settled. Now going to charts 271. Remember, this comes from the plant because it's advanced decline data. So you have to. Uh, refresh it after settlement. Okay. All right. So we punched through 50 bar. We're getting ready to punch through 200, which also is a confluence there with zero sig, as Admiral Tico said. You should be following Admiral Tico at Admiral underscore T I K O. That's Tango India Kilo Oscar. 271. That's overbought. No question about it. And also look at 65, 66 almost. On breath trust so both overbought now we couldn't stay overbought it doesn't mean 
Once we get here, uh, we're going to drop down. We can see there. We tried it three times. Of course, it failed. Let's see where we are. If 50 bar punches through 200, that's uh, hard, party hardy. All the money managers will jump in. They get out. When this happens, they get out here and they go back in. Simple dual uh, moving average trading. Uh, the lag is huge. It's not very intelligent, but so are most money managers. What do you think they are? I got to ask them how, many, how much they beat the SP. So we'll be surprised. CI has turned up, CI dips are green. Okay. On the NASDAQ side, pretty much same story. We're already close about 50 bar, but we're not getting to 200 yet. And that's three and a half sigma. That's not a joke. So the test there, we'll see you. Thanks. The test there is going to be huge. So that's not a level to watch. 12 1, 12 2 at a time. Okay. Uh, I look at this. Look at the breath trust. It's at 69. By the way, it's not my work. This is from. Uh, uh, sentiment trader, uh, Jason Gopert, very good friend. Smart cookie, smart cookie. If you don't follow sentiment trader, I suggest you do. Jason Gopert. He was with me on Minionville, and I think prior to that was on Real Money. Yeah, very smart cookie. Okay, now moving to three sigma, or two sigma already, very close. Kind of mirrors it. Uh, Transposition is ahead, leading. No surprise there. And now Russell is coming up over 200. So this is very constructive on a long side. Remember, I went long and people said, Why? Now you see. It's called experience. You're not going to get it in the school or, or some, some class or a, a, a videotape or a YouTube. This is cannot be replaced. You just have to be in the trenches, get beaten up, learn from your mistakes. As I had an interview today, I forgot with uh, is it Michael Gayad. Yeah. I coded the Louis Borsolino number three, four, on the uh, uh, S&P pit. He said, love your losers. You should read his book. It's on my blog. I'm not interested. I'm not involved with his book. Not involved with my Wiley. Uh, but uh, that's 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 a really good book. It's, it's not going to teach you any methodology. There's no I indicators in there. That, and he's not the type anyway. Louis couldn't add two plus two with a calculator. Yeah. No, but he is very good at understanding fear and greed. He would understand the pit like no one. He knew where the bottom and top was from, you know what? Look at the faces and how they were yelling. Okay? In that world, Lewis was always number one. No question about it. Uh, uh, let's see. No, okay. No worries. Uh, so let's look at the trenders. One, positive. Two, three, almost yet. Yeah, four, negative, almost five, six. Okay. We're six out of eight positive. So we're on our way to pull up. And so you guys see more and more people coming in. Don't be surprised for me to put a trade on uh, probably tomorrow. Yeah. Can't do it. We cannot, we don't do PMT trades uh, on uh, after hours. It just, the, 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 the logic is okay, but the prices don't match for the option side. So. Don't be surprised for us tomorrow to put a trade on. And it won't be short term. It'll be probably three to five weeks long. Okay. We have a little noise in front of us. I don't want to be shaken up on the theta quickly. We did go long JPM. Okay, this is uh, SP1. It's, we're a little bit late, by the way, to put that signal in. But I remember, I didn't have any internet until last Wednesday. And even to us of yeah, and hardware was here on Monday, so still had issues, lingering issues. So I haven't studied the charts like I usually do, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, we're getting some optics there on the new highs and new lows. I'm saying new highs only, not new lows. Uh, we're not near a top yet. We're just beginning this roll to the upside. Why? Because we're not peaking here yet. Usually, when you get near the highs, you get to have high readings. And the low readings would be zeroed out, and so are this right now. So, a little bit to the upside is my bias. It's seven and a half. It'll be a short term trade, but I would have a longer duration because of uh, uh, I, I, the theta. Remember, we're, we're getting into earnings season. You got to have one day up, one day down. 
you easily. So if you're if you try to fine tune your time to a tighter time frame, you you uh, snap out of it. It'll scare the heck out of you, and you jump out of it all the time. So you want to have a low rate of data against you. Okay. So we'll see. And normally, when these things hit, they continue. If I'm right, these new if they're making new eyes, look, and we've only came out of this channel now this week. If we go above it, we're going to stay above it for a while. Why? By that, I mean we will do this one. Let's go. By that, I mean we will do something like this or something like that. Where we'll continue going up, albeit at a slower rate. But look at this, for example. Stays up for a while. So we're okay. All right, let's go to including this. We could go Momo over 10. VX and VXN. Oh, let me also try to say this. Let me. Okay, thanks, Dennis. I just want to make sure you have put the questions out. Sorry, I didn't do that. Thanks, Dennis, for checking that for me. Appreciate it. Again, this error continues. I don't know what to tell you. These are not the lows. Uh, and there's some computational error going on. Uh, when I ran VXN myself, I didn't have these errors. As a matter of fact, my VXN came out before Sivo did. Okay, VIX is down slightly. We're at 21 now. The lows are going to be around 1918 area, as you can see from Sigma levels. We're not there yet, but probably we have some pressure. Look what happened with the vols, though. They're getting crushed. So we could be getting set up for a push down. Not immediately, but let's say uh, let's say by February. I think February is going to be a treacherous month, in, in my opinion. So I could be wrong, but that's what I'm looking at. And you can see already we're in the low end of the uh, range. You can see the SCW, sigma channel width on the lower end of the range. This is a tougher indicator to understand. Keep watching it. You'll see. The, green, the, the, the dots, uh, it's been an old indicator, nothing new. But these dots are uh, uh, lagging channels. So it carries the channel as we drop it, and then it drops them off, OK? Drops off the old data, puts in new data. So we're getting to a very tight channel here on a sigma channel itself. Okay. That shows we're getting uh, coiled up. Usually when this thing starts dropping, a big move is coming. Which way? See, I will tell you. The sigma channels are not going to tell you which way. Maybe you'll get a little read on the count, where, where the count is. Of the, is it negative three or plus three? But really, what you want to do, combine the two. See, I... CIs with sigma channel. Uh, so far, I think we have, we have a very muted area. Uh, we should be sideways on the VIX for a while. That's Q. All right. Back to 115, and uh, they feel we're done. The big boys think we're done. Why? The tail risk is very minimal. The low all time was 110, all time high is 170. So if you shift that, the median is about 150. Oh, I'm sorry, 140, 140, right? Yeah, well, 140. That's 30, and then this is 30. Yeah, but 140. We're way down here by any measure. Uh, the big boys think they don't need to buy any puts. They don't think we're going to go down, mainly because we're so far down from the top. It's 48.18. We're at uh, almost 4,000. So that's that's that that eight hundred points is a lot of points. It's eight thousand on the Dow. Treasuries we keep on pushing higher. The, the real estate types down here keep telling me I'm wrong until next week, and then they get creamed. I, I said, okay, you know, well, I, I asked them two questions. First of all, can I when I grow up can I be like you? That's question one. Dennis, are you with me? Okay, can I grow up be like you? That's what two. What do they feed you for breakfast? And I get very, very unusual looks after that. So, yeah. So front end keeps rising a little bit. Uh, I think Chairman Powell has no interest to let go yet because uh, we're still printing uh, free money. If the inflation is at seven and your fr front end 
of the curve is four and a half. There's a two and a half points there for free money. Not good. You want to be inverted against that. You want to be totally the other side. Where this is at uh, three, and interest, I'm sorry, this is at uh, five, let's say, and if inflation rate is at three, that's going to be a lot. And it's going to hit the economy. Before we get there, it's going to hit the economy. And I don't think average person out there is ready for that yet. But I think the next six months uh, will put pressure more on the real assets because of the, the rates. And he's not going to give up. He can't because he can't trust the fiscal guys. You saw what he did on March uh, 2023. I, I told, I'm sorry, 2021 or 2020, March 23rd, 2020. I talked about it in the podcast today. I'll get the link for you guys. I'll post it by uh, my, Michael Guyad. But if it wasn't him, We'll be in total disarray because Washington usually is in disarray anyway. And because you have so much infighting among 400, what, uh, or 535 people, you know, between the uh, House and the Senate. This is a single, coming in, single guy coming in. He doesn't care for anything other than his reputation. Uh, and his mandate says he's got independence, so he went and did it. I think he's doing the reverse now. When he is maximum. In one day, never done before, and be by far much bigger and order of magnitude over 2008 debacle. He is tightening up now, and more power to him. I'm, I, I respect his work, and I respect what he has accomplished as an investment banker and a tough cookie. And hold on, should not give in to any political pressure. Should not give in to any of these rascals asking questions, which we from both parties, and do what he's doing right. So. And you see what's happening on the long end. We're coming down a little bit. We should. Look, you can see on the CI, CIs and CI dips. The long end should come down, and then maybe, maybe later you can ease off on that. But you could see the, and these are signs of recession, by the way, sort of the, 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 the inverted the yield curve. So, again, I'm not an economist, and uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. Oh, let's see. We pulled up here pretty hard on the, SMPs, I mean, yeah. And uh, while we were dropping earlier in the day on uh, 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 on the VIX spread yesterday, we eased up overnight, kind of flattened, and uh, and that interesting enough, we rose. And there was a discussion of that. I forgot what conclusion Peter had. I got to look at my notes there. Uh, but you know, we we went up and the VIX went up, so it could be near. Kind of a little topish. We're at 76 now. Maybe I won't get out. Maybe I'll just go flat at 4,000 and take a pause. We'll see. I may do that. We'll see. We've been long from uh, 23rd. Uh, and uh, let's see. This is our chart. You could see what we have done. No. Uh, well, I think we posted. No, we didn't post it there. Oh, if we go here, you'll see it. Oh. Uh, there we go. This is the chart update. Just update. You could see what we are. This is uh, as of tonight. You could see where we were at 3844 and we're at uh, 4000. So we've taken about 160 handles up, 155 handles up uh, by Friday, probably. And we'll see. While the market did go up, but we also improved while it was going down. Did we take both sides? This is buy and hope, what we call buy and hope. Uh, buy and hold is a parody on that, but uh, and this differential is what I look at. Where am I against the market? So one one thirteen. So okay. So we'll see. We'll see what we're gonna do on that. A couple of people did not like the way I was doing PMT Pro. One guy uh, gave me a lecture on how he wants me to do PMT Pro. I told Matt my. Uh, uh, Accounting guy, and I said, you know, just hit the eject button. He goes, what? I said, you know, the other day I was at Austin Martin. They were trying to sell me Austin Martin. I'm not interested. My car, my garage has a jack. What does he need Austin Martin for? I'm not going to be driving it. I'm always home. So, yeah, but remember uh, Austin Martin and James Bond? They had ejection seats. If I get an Austin Martin, I want one of those for the blonde. If I don't like the blonde, you press the button. Ding. I said, hit the ejection button. He goes, why? I said, just not into argument with these guys. See, the guy just comes here and telling me how to do this. Listen, we're going to do what works for us. And remember, as more I get, 
as my load builds up work-wise, I have to be realistic. That's why we use this webinar. Even though they're open, the purpose is, instead of writing a newsletter, we're doing it open, visual, and with a QA. You can come in and ask questions. I'm not sure, I'm not sure this guy gets it, but anyhow. Plus, we follow up with emails and uh, updates when the trades come up. So uh, if, if this is not what he wanted, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. We found him out of here. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there and please people. Can't. Too many people. Can't please everybody. All right. Nice open here. We would not go to high numbers. So obviously, that first burst is important, but even didn't get there. We did not break 90 at all. Uh, the one tiny little bit of time. Of course, they sold it. Look at that delta. Moved the, uh, the uh, Bollinger Bands, but they sold it and we dropped. So no big day here yet. Okay? There's a lot of hodgepodge here going on. That's noise level. You can see it on NASDAQ. You can also see it on Russell. So even though the indices are rising, uh, the volume is not really strongly supporting them. That's Lowry's. Uh, the BPI is a different issue. That's by uh, uh, power index, long here, long there, long there, and oh, this is now, just went long here, all for a long, okay. This is usually a pretty good signal, the all for a long, yeah. You have the S&Ps, mid cap, small, uh, small caps, and then NASDAQ. So all are long now. I haven't had that in a while. Yeah, well, we're good. Cash, remind me so we can chat with Peter in the morning. Peter is the guy who wrote this code. It's a, uh, it's a Larry's work on uh, what's called buying power index. I'd like to see what his view is. So, okay, what else do I have for you guys? Swig, you want to talk about Tesla? Well, that's JPM. Okay. Tesla, again, Tico is a uh, very avid Tesla uh, 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 observer, shall we say. And uh, uh, I think there's some accumulation here. You can see what happened there. This was incredible. Th th this is bank selling. You took look at what happened past 133. Once he went past 133, it went nuts. 146 was this low. Uh, 180. No, what was the low there? 150. Okay. Uh, there we go. Right about here, we had past 133, and you could see the volume just went nuts. Why they sold? That's a loan, non-performing loan. In the age of Dodd Frank, they have no with the regulators bringing over their neck. They have no choice. They did. A little hodgepodge, a little bit of craziness. Uh, are we coming back up? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that company has a lot of problems. It's not going to be solved that easily. It's not going to be solved per se with the more programming. It's a perception issue. So. Listen, uh, uh, plus it's got uh, issues with uh, appetite. I mix it through. My apologies. He, he had sold to finance some of his Tesla because of cash flow issues. So we have discussed and had, had nausea. Uh, if you look at the uh, uh, free cash flow, but uh, Twitter. He needs to sell a lot of this, but he also hit the the lo loan uh, covenants, uh, the hypothecation, hypothecation he did on his stock, and still paying his taxes, uh, which is illegal. He didn't do anything illegal, but now it comes to roost. Uh, problem we have now is 165 people who are dead from uh, uh, fires from the battery and uh, 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 auto auto. Uh, uh, driving uh, scheme that uh, is an option you have. Autonomous driving, autonomous driving of uh, Tesla. So that, those are going to be heavy on it. And then now you have full blown competition. Every channel you open, a car uh, manufacturer are showing your EV rollout, and it's not going to be easy. So the easy money in Tesla is made, I believe. It's not going to be uh, that easy where we are now. So uh, if you go back and do this, you can see. This is what I call a whore. When a stock becomes a whore, you get this. They run it up like crazy. When they're done with it, it's done. And they, they don't usually come back. It takes a long time for it to come back. So people who are buying it now, what are they hoping? Some of them, I've talked to a few characters here. 
they're they're trying to bring their uh, their uh, uh, average cost lower. Very stupid, extremely stupid. Okay, uh, they'll just be uh, more pregnant, or I should say, they'll be more semi-pregnant. And every every um, uh, push down, more panic selling will come. So uh, if you didn't get rid of it in this area. Uh, you didn't get rid of that. That area, you just not look at that. It's been brutal these uh, six months. By the way, Jake Tiley, he called it right in the chat room. He called it right. So we'll see. Uh, let's go to, oh, come fly with me. Look at that. Yeah. That's, uh, I don't know if it's an E or F, but uh, looks like an E to me. This is C, that's uh, uh, E. Hold on, what do we need? We need one more chart for you. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Now, let's close this. Okay, okay, nice breakout. We talked about that, remember? We said, this is a tough area. That 45 to 55 is always a tough area. Nice breakout over that. Because a lot of times you could consolidate between these two levels for a long time. This time pulls up and, uh, you know, it's new year, new money. Uh, Hopefully, some some items are buried in the past, and we got to move forward. But it's going to be painful here, I think, for most uh, uh, people because now it becomes more a stock picking environment, and average guy is not tool for that. So, what we try to do, we run uh, scanners and have them uh, take uh, uh, the, the the guessing out of it. But uh, good that we work out like that. Nice spot, up man. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's it for me. It's 621. Any questions for me? Next webinar, next Wednesday, of course. Any stocks you want me to analyze quickly for you? Anyone? Again, we're going to be back to normal operation. Oh, hi, David. How are you? Uh, we're almost there, but my big machine, the 65 inch with the i9, is down. The, the monitor is good, ready to go, ready to plug in. As a matter of fact, I was all ready to plug it in, and I noticed something is loose. I opened the machine and I have a blades, like a fan blades of F14 that killed 28 young men over at Gulf of Pensacola. Uh, uh, I saw the blades, I almost cried. And then I called them, they said, don't worry about it, I'll just send it up and take a look. We get it again from CUK. Computer Upgrade King, a uh, small bunch of group work very hard in Virginia. And they've done a tremendous job for us. She'll be back here by uh, Friday or Monday, and I'll be back on the horse. In the meantime, we have been getting the chat room back to where it was and uh, get the code to them. We're gonna finish the user guide. Uh, and of course, I, we need the earnings season. The Friday is uh, JPM, Wells Fargo, B of A. I don't know when gold, I don't think it's gold. Goldman's probably next week on market. So, but uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready. Any questions for me? No questions? Thanks, Dennis. You're quite welcome, sir. Is there any stock or in the, or, oh, there was a question I posted on uh, Bitcoin. Why 6,000? I put the chart up, it's on Twitter, you could take a look. And you could see the Sigma level says 5,700. Say six, 5,700 say six, you know. But uh, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, retest to be done around nine. Eight nine, uh, I buy the eight is a key number, but uh, usually when you do a flush like this, especially non-performing asset, it's not a product. It doesn't have a balance sheet. It doesn't have management. You know, that's a nebulous thing. I think you're gonna have a little more extreme, uh, uh, just like it's been so far, extreme movement down and the underlying, and so those levels will be challenged. All right. So if we get to eight. Going to, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll put it up here for you. You see what I'm talking about? At BTC, that's a big Bitcoin 
continuous contract, you do it like this, you'll see what I'm talking about. You open this up, you see. Okay. This is, uh, if you look at here, low is 7.8, so say 8,000. Okay. That to be tested. But look at the sigma level. It's 57. And if we break this le level here, there's nothing to stop it. There's nothing here to stop it. Maybe uh, 10,000, and then it goes boom to a low, and then boom, then whatever that value is. The bounce has to come from a sigma level. And uh, all I know is that I got a lot of bitching from my, some of my family that said, why don't you say yes so we can run this up? It was about 45 area. Last year this time, where is that is? Yeah, but this time, yeah. Beginning of this year, yeah. That where we are, we're going to go to 7,500,000 and then 500,000. I said, you do whatever you want to do, but I, I think I'm looking at 25. There's a gap here. Uh, I'm sorry, right here, right here, there's a gap here. I'm looking at 25, it's going to get filled. That's all she wrote. Once we took 25, then it was 21, and then we got to be hammered down here. So then, of course, FTX happened. But this wasn't then. FTX happened here in uh, October, November. So, anyhow, uh, let me put this back up. On my uh, put Tesla back in. Well, I do look at Tesla. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry. Okay, I close this. My bad. I'm sorry. Hold on. Do not save. Nope. Then open. Reopen. Ah, uh, Tesla being a seventh number of, of on market cap at uh, on uh, uh, on uh, on. Uh, that's like 100. You got to take a look at it. It was much bigger, but now it's seven. Um, so you got to take a look at it. Oh, oh. Uh, no. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's BTC, CSLA. Well, okay, that's it. So let me save this and we're good to go. Any questions for me? All right, folks. Thanks for your time. We'll do another one next week. I'll post this as soon as it's available. By the way, there was one last week that was posted for a, a part of our uh, uh, chat room. It got pretty good reception uh, from folks who are not familiar with it. But uh, here we are. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. All the best.